Welcome back. In this tutorial, I will teach you how to create an interactive phone, which will play audio when the key is pressed. And by that, I mean the character will be able to walk up to the phone and hear what it has to say. The game will pause and the camera will switch. Once the audio is finished, the game will resume as usual. Let me show you what I mean here. So, walk up to the phone. Press e. I have a material witness on an aggravated battery. Uh, with a handgun and uh, they believe uh, this might be in retaliation uh, to her testimony. So once the audio is finished, we can then carry on playing the game. So the first steps are, is going to be your audio, or dialogue, what are you going to call it? I have a material witness on an aggravated... And then we're going to want to find a... Asset, so I'm just using this Nokia phone which I found on Turbo Squid. And as you can see, it has two material slots one for the screen and one for the buttons and the phone housing. You can also make this yourself, or you can either find it. Once we've got that, we're just going to create an emissive material. I'll show you how to do that right now. So we're just name this. My spelling's off, but it's all good. So it's really simple. What we're going to do is we're going to promote the emissive color to a parameter. This will be the color of the of the glue. We'll just put that to a a bluish color, like a neon type blue. Then we're going to get a multiply. Stick that one there, put the color into B, and then we're going to promote A to a parameter as well. And we'll just call this our color type emissive. And this will be the brightness, so I'm going to just set it to 15 for now. So this is going to be how this is going to be the brightness of this color. You'll be able to see, yeah, so you can see the glue. Yeah, so once we've got this, just press the apply, cross that off, and then we're going to take this one and we're just going to duplicate it. We're just going to name this emissive phone, and for this one, we're just going to call it. Normal. Now, if we go into the emissive one and change this to our emissive material, you can see the f the phone screens lit up, and this is what we want. This is not essential, but it's just it gives a good effect. We're then going to want to create a blueprint. It's going to be an actor. We we'll call this audio phone. Go into it. First off, just grab a static mesh and then choose the static mesh. So we called it, I've done it before, so it's up there still, but I think we called it, let me check, mobile Nokia normal. So mobile normal, quite dumb. Mobile Nokia normal. We could just drag, we could just drag it in. Lot easier. I'm just saying it to 10. So I can see it. Compile. Just name this normal phone. Then we're just going to duplicate this and call it uh, call it emissive emissive phone. We're then just going to add a component and we're going to get the collision box. It's a bit too big. I'm just going to put it. Save. And then we're going to start off by creating an on overlap and uh, begin overlap and end overlap. Cut 
cast these boosts to the first cast these both to the first person character or third person if you're using copy this down here then for this one we're going to enable input and then we're going to do disable input for this one then we're going to hook both up to get player controller compile and save what we also can do is add some text there so rotate this that way no rotate it the other way and we can just add a little bit of text saying press E to interact Compile, and then what we're going to do is on overlap, we're going to set visibility it's not named, so we'll just call it interact e and then copy this. Compile. And then what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to turn the vis visibility off here in the details panel. And that, we can't see it here, but let's see how it looks in the in the game if it is the right way. Okay, wait. Let's see what's going on here. Right. So I found out it's just tick this box compile save so now we walk in here you can see it says press e, e to interact and obviously if you press e right now nothing's going to happen and you're not um, code anything so let's go back into the blueprint that's it for that bit and now we're going to get e key And get do once as we only want the audio to play once and we only want to be able to listen to the um, audio once I just found if we set visibility again for the emissive phone first as a tick over here and on here go to viewport on emissive phone and so if I tell you to use this one, the one that we created, the mobile Nokia emissive phone. Um, if we then change the visibility to non-visible in the game, compile this. So when we press E now, we'll be able to see the emissive version of the phone. And while we're seeing the emissive version of the phone, we're going to want to hide the other version of the phone. So we're going to hide the normal phone. Compile. Just going to do a print string. Just call it, yeah. Just do a print string. Let's see if anything happens when we press E. Press E. Okay, not working. Let's see. Alright, so this is what I've done wrong. Take that. Take off from this box. Should work now. Yeah, so when I press E, you can see the phone's glowing up now. Now the next step, take that off, and we're going to play the sound now. Play sound at location. We'll choose the one that we... I'll use the police one. It's just, I found it off, um, I think it's called... It's one of the sound effect sites. Sound Bible, that's it. And then you make sure you want to make sure that any audio file that you import into Unreal Engine is a WAV file. Other files don't work properly, and WAV is what it, Unreal Engine uses in audio for its audio. 
And for the location, we're just going to get it doesn't matter which phone you choose, we choose it normal or missive, and we're just going to get one location. We just try to get both. Okay, we'll choose a missive phone as that's the one that's going to be on. Hook that up so it plays at, at the spot. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use something called set view. Maybe not. It's called set view target. I'll take content sensitive off with blend. The target is going to be get player controller. And we're going to promote this to a variable when you retarget. So right click, promote to variable, and we'll just call this variable. Um, camera. We are then going to cast to our first person character. My spelling is atrocious. Cast to first person character. Get player character. Then we're going to disable movement. Actually, I'll show you what we have so far. Okay, let me just hook that up. Compile and save. Right now, if you play, actually, I'm going to turn the volume. Let me just turn the volume down a little bit. Press play. Press I have a material witness on an aggravated battery uh, with a handgun and uh, they believe uh, this might be in retaliation uh, to her testimony. And now in here, we're going to search for camera. Drag a camera out. And then we'll set that camera in position where it can see the phone. For example. I know it's not the greatest of angles, but we'll just set it there. So that's where the camera can see the phone. And then once we have that set, we'll just rename this camera to um, camera looking at phone. Go back to here and set this variable public so then you can set it so click the phone and then here it will you can you'll be able to select that camera and use it in the game i'll show you what i mean it's a bit confusing but we'll get there so disable movement and then we're going to add a delay we're going to add a delay of the audio time. So as you can see here, on duration, it says 11.389, blah, blah, blah. We're just going to do 11.4. Yes, make it easy. Duration, 11.4. So that's the time of the audio. So whatever your audio is, dialogue, audio, sound, um, you're going to put that here. You're going to put the time in this box here. We're then going to copy this, copy this one, put it over here, target play controller, so we'll use the same one, target play controller, then we'll set this one, we we'll, we'll promote a variable again, sorry, keep it all as it is, we'll name that first person camera, make sure it's ticked as well so you can see the little eye, compile, and then now we have another one here called first person camera. What we're going to do is we're going to select our first person character. Now you can see it says first person character. So after the delay, the camera will all uh, automatically go back to the first person, cam uh, first person camera. We're then going to allow the player to move again. So we're going to set movement mode. No, not that one. Set movement mode. 
target will be character movement again. So from from here, we want to hook that into the target, and we'll just set movement mode to walking. Compile save, and then finally, what we're going to do is we're going to get these two, copy these, paste them over here, and then we're going to switch these around. So so tick the box with the normal phone and the set visibility for the missile phone off. Compile, play, walk over, press E to interrupt. I have a material witness on an aggravated battery uh, with a handgun and um, they believe uh, this might be in retaliation uh, to her testimony. And then the camera's back to the original camera. And I have a material witness on an aggravated. We can't press E again. We're not allowed to press E again as we do once. So if you want to be able to watch it again or listen to it again, sorry, you'll have to take that do once off. But I'm going to remove this now. Press E to interact because it's telling us something that we can't do now. So we go back into the audio phone, and then all we do is here set visibility again. I think it's going to be, let's check how it is here, yeah, it's going to be that one. Okay, no, that's not going to work actually. We'll just do a variable, we'll call it finished. Then what we can do is we can just drag that out, set finished, and we can go back to here, push that over there. I will just create a branch. So if it's finished, false, we're going to set visibility. So if, if it's not finished, the interact will be available. You will be able to see it. So hopefully that should work. Let's have a check. Press to interact. It's all working. I have a material witness on addition uh, to her testimony. Now it's finished, walk out, yeah, the message is gone. So that's all for today's tutorial. I hope you found this useful and hopefully you can use this. Thank you for watching.